People have had a long time over the last 16 months to sit at home. The couch and the recliner, they've probably gotten stretched. It might sag, it could even be torn. Many have decided they wanted to see a change, and that's led to the growth of consignment around the valley. Today, I found out what people are thinking. People are suffering from COVID fatigue in their home and want to see new things. Sofas are a big seller, chairs, lamps. Diane Young owns Consign and Design in Poland. She's noticed more shoppers and buyers who want that new to you feeling. You know, there's no, no shame in buying secondhand anymore. That's actually the way to get the best bang for your buck and something different that you don't see everywhere. And I think that it's here to stay. Young's consignment shop works by people leaving items for 90 days, and they get a commission if it sells. Young sets the price. This sofa for here, for example, is kind of contemporary. We just got this in. This will go out quickly. Consign and Design is also benefiting from a hot housing market. People are changing homes, selling their extra items. There are delays in new furniture, and they're choosing something they used to be able to find easily. And that's what a lot of our clients are looking for, the quality that we're not seeing so much in the area anymore, or in any area, as far as that goes, because there's so many imports. Every item gets sanitized before it goes on the floor. Young feels back in the day you'd put items on the curb. Now you try consigning them, and it's working as people look to find something to make them feel new again. You might come in for a dining room suit and walk out with a lamp or, or vice versa, because you just happen upon something that maybe was not in your plans at all. Now, the same thing's happening in clothing. Projections show the trend growing stronger, more than doubling in the next four years.